a video showing how I take care of the suspension on my Suron. I'm not an expert, but in my experience, this has improved the performance. And go check out my Instagram at Suronster. So I always start off with a microfiber cloth. I used to use paper towels, but the problem with using paper towels is they leave little bits of paper towel uh, after you wipe everything off. The microfiber ones don't leave any lint, which is great. Um, so yeah, just start off. Pleasure the suspension. Doing this, you want to make sure that you have decompressed the suspension. You want to make sure you've got as much of this showing as possible if you have the RST for it. Wrap it around and do it like that. You get a lot. And the same goes for the rear. Try to clean the piston there, get off any gunk. So what I'll do next is I'll use some of uh, this fork boost loop. Uh, I bet you could use any fork loop. It gets into the cracks and crevices, cleans out all the gunk, and it leaves behind some loop for the shaft. I'm just gonna go ahead and put pretty much as little as possible because it always ends up being a little too much. Gotta get it on all the sides. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. There's always too much. These were relatively clean, but you can totally see a little bit of gunk that it, it gets out and um, it lubes it up nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the rear. So I can't really get this in past the coil, so I'm gonna try to like put it on the sticky note and then drip it on. That worked so well. So there you have it, that takes about 10 minutes and you've got your suspension all lubed and cleaned up. I would do it maybe once a month, uh, but I only ride on the street, so entirely different if you ride off-road. I'm on that triple double, nigga, there's where I'm with the rain. Living my best life, don't look at him.